So earlier this month, I was in Washington, D.C. And, you know, it wouldn't be a great pen show if I didn't stop and look at all the different types of pen-related materials. And what I'm talking about is not just pens and ink, but pen cases. This Galen leather pen case that I picked up at D.C., that inspires this video. And the reason for that is that this little case which is one of their new pen cases. It's a molded pen case out of undyed leather and it's just, I love it. I love the closure on it. This little case is a co, I don't even know if I'm saying the word right because I hear it in different ways. It's a Kaweco or a Kaweco. So I'm gonna say Kaweco because I recently watched the Apple Boom interview with Michael over at Kaweco and that's how he pronounces it. So I'm just gonna say Kaweco. I do have Kaweco pens in this case. I have my steel Kaweco. I have my, this is a, this is an older limited edition model, but I have my Tiger's Eye Kaweco. This was a limited run back in 2018, I believe. And yeah, it's hard to find it now. And I also have my Kaweco brass SketchUp, which is, is actually a pencil in there. So it's, this is a lot of fun to carry around. After I got that, I was like, oh man, you know, this is bad because this has kind of put me on a little Kaweco kick. So one of the things I did, I was like, well, I'm not really into just the basic plastic sport pens, but I really like the ones with the unusual materials, such as that Kaweco art out of the European acrylic or the steel, and I have the brass. So, I was like, Lord, what's a limited, a limited Kaweco I could get? The first thing that popped in my head was the Golden Espresso pen, which is a very limited pen. In fact, there's only 700 of them made. So it's a limited run. And so I was like, you know, I could, cause I can get a Kaweco plastic pen whenever, but these aluminum pens, and here's a little box that comes in. I think I'm gonna start chasing after the limited run pens just because. And I do realize I've never done a video review of them and I have several of them. And yeah, I don't know why I, I just never reviewed it. So here's my first Kaweco Sport review. So it has this outer sleeve as Kaweco, the logo on there. And Kaweco aluminum pens are so awesome because they come in these tin boxes and they're just great, just a great presentation for a fountain pen. And I like Kaweco because the Kaweco Sport has been around, I believe, since the 1920s or 1930s. So this is a pen design that's been around nearly 100 years and it's still going strong today. I know out there, there are some hardcore Kaweco collectors. I mean, I would personally, I would love to get my hands on like a vintage Kaweco pen from like the 1930s. I think that would be so awesome. Okay, so the tin box opens up and inside you've got a little brochure and this is, it's just, it's so darling. So it pretty much, actually it gives you a timeline what it looks like of the Kaweco brand. And on the back, it gives you a guarantee. And inside we have the pen, which is in a plastic bag. And I don't see, maybe I already tossed it because I did peek at this to take a look at it. It does also come with a cartridge because it is a cartridge converter system. Uh, but I probably already took the cartridge and put it in my little box in the cabinet there that I'm never ever going to use it. So let's take it out of the sleeve and it's a, it's a beautiful color. It's a beautiful, deep, dark brown. It's called Golden Espresso as it's labeled right there. And this is the Kaweco Ale Sport. And that is etched into the cap right here. So it's a nice little pocket pen. And that's what I love about the Kaweco are their little pocket pens, the sports, and I just, I think they're awesome pens. Here at the finial, there's the Kaweco logo in gold. And so what you do is, yes, it seems tiny right now, but the great thing about Kaweco sports is, let's unscrew the barrel out of the cap. There it is, it comes with a nice gold-plated steel nib with a plastic feed. 
But then when you go to post it, so here are these two separate parts, they're very small, but you go to post it and it makes a nice size pen, a nice size pocket pen. So this pen will go everywhere with you. This is one of these great pens that it's just, it's a classic. It's a, all the Kawakos I've had, they've been great writers. They have great nibs on them. And yeah, I really love this matte espresso color. It's very beautiful. I'm not gonna ink it with brown though, because I already have chocolate inks or brown inks inked into my other pens. In fact, my Kaweco art is inked with a chocolate color. So I'm actually gonna ink it this time with kind of a brown red and see how that goes. The one thing Kaweco pens do not come with is a converter. So it does come apart. So let's take this off. But is it in there? No. Oh, it is in there. Hold on, let me get that cartridge out. It's in there, there it is. So here's the cartridge. The cartridge it is in the pen, which is weird because it has a spot inside the box for it. It doesn't matter. The great thing about Kaweco pens is that their nibs are interchangeable. They are small little nibs and you can buy the nibs separately. So let's say by an accident, you drop your pen. Oh, that'd be horrible. You drop your pen, you bust the nib and you wanna get a different nib for it. Well, the housing, unscrews outside of the grip section and you can get a totally different nib that or if you say you're using a fine nib and you want to switch it into like for instance this is a broad nib because i i find the fine nibs on the kawakos to be too fine and i like i just like a really good juicy nib i just that just makes me happy so i got the broad but you could switch to any type of nib. So you want a, you want a different nib, you'd rather have a medium nib, you can just unscrew the nib, install a new nib into it. As I was saying, the Kaweco does not come with a converter. So what I did, and I ordered my Kaweco pen, this Golden Espresso, because they're not really everywhere right now. They're starting to sell. And I found mine over at Pen Boutique, which is located in Maryland. And a great thing about Pen Boutique, which I have found out this time, this is actually my second order ever from them and their service is really good. I really like it, but I'll probably start ordering from them more often because they offer a military slash veteran discount code. From Pen Boutique, I did order a little converter that goes with the pen. Look how tiny it is. It's like teeny tiny little miniature converter. And it just, it's a little pump action, like piston. Well, it's not really piston filling, but yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and install that now. And it's just, it's really easy. You just. So one thing you'll notice when I ink this pen later on in the video is I will take the ink in through the converter, but then after I have ink in the converter, what I do is I push it in just a little bit more because I noticed when I put the barrel back on, which is pretty, you know, when it's fully extended, it doesn't quite hit the top of that. But for some reason, whenever I ink my Kaweco pens, when I put the barrel back on, somehow it pushes this down and I end up with extra ink right here on the nib and inside the cap, which I hate. And so I just push that down just a little bit to get that extra ink out and make sure that, that doesn't happen before I put that barrel back on. You might notice that Kaweco pens do not have a clip, but the cool thing about that is if you don't get a clip for it, not everybody wants a clip on it, well, you have a faceted cap and this will prevent your pen from rolling off of your desk, which is very cool. But I like my Kaweco pens to have clips because I think it makes the pen look really cool. I don't necessarily use the clip. So I also ordered a gold clip from Pen Boutique to go with my pen. It goes on actually pretty easy. You just slide it right through. And so I'm actually gonna slide it to on the side. So I have the Ale Sport, the Golden Espresso here on the side. So let me go ahead and put this on. And this will stay on here for, you know, forever because I won't take it off. But I just think it makes it, the Kaweco pen have a very complete look. I think it looks very nice together. I have, that's a great looking pen. I actually ordered another one from Pen Chalet. It's like a purple color, another limited. Oh, this could be a problem guys, but let's go ahead. Let's ink this beautiful pen up and let's see how it writes.
Thank you for joining me for this look at the Kaweco Sport and Golden Espresso. I really love how that broad nib writes. I just, I think I need to get a double broad nib and really like, you know, really go to town. Let's have some real like juicy wet nib action. And if you're into collecting Kawekas, I strongly encourage you to look at the Golden Espresso before it's all gone. It's a beautiful brown color. I think the matte brown looks beautiful with the shiny gold pieces. I mean, it's just a good looking pen. Go find yours. I found mine at Pen Boutique. I've seen it. I think Anderson Pens has it still. And I can't think of any other sort. Pen Shelley does not have it. I did look there first. I usually do. Uh, but yeah, go check out Pen Boutique. They're super nice and they have great service. And uh, also, you know, if you're into Kaweco pens, go check out Galen Leather for this cool, you could, you know, perfect size for Kaweco pens. Now let's talk price. That's what I didn't get to yet. I actually find the Kaweco sport aluminum editions to be a reasonable price. I think it's a great pen. It's a classy pen. I personally haven't had any problems with these pens. So uh, especially, you know, especially those of you guys who haven't jumped from the plastic sport pens to the aluminum ones, it might be a big jump for you guys because the plastic version of this pen usually runs between 20 and $25, depending on where you shop for your pen at. Now the Kaweco, AL Sports run a little higher. This one runs $85. It's a great writer. You can change out the nib. You know, the clip, okay, but you do have to spend extra for the clip. The clip runs about $6 and the converter also runs about five or $6. So this pen will end up costing you around $95. So yeah, it's still under $100 though. So. In my opinion, I, I think it's well worth it. I think it's a great pen. So, I mean, how many times do I say it's a great pen? Probably quite a bit. Well, that's all I have to say about, and um, well, that's how the ink flows.